Moving on now, Burkina Faso goes to the polls on the 22nd of November to elect its president and National Assembly representatives. But the West African country's election has been overshadowed by terrorism. A climate of fear brought on by violent jihadist attacks has led to the loss of more than 2,000 lives. A million people have fled the region. As a result, hundreds of thousands will not be voting in Burkina Faso. Questions are being raised about the legitimacy of the election. Our report has more. More than 2,000 people killed, a million displaced from their homes. The escalating violence in Burkina Faso has now raised questions about the legitimacy of its election. On Sunday, November 22nd, the nation will go to the polls. But hundreds of thousands of voters will not be casting their ballots. While some of them fled the fighting in the region and are now living in refugee camps, Others have left all belongings, including electoral cards and other documents, behind. Their right to vote has been snatched away by rampant violence. What we want is for the elected president to help us get peace back, so we can go back home safely. We are not good, really, because we should also have the right to vote. The president is for all of us. We are all Burkinabe, and yet many can't vote. So really, we are not proud. Nearly a million people were displaced amid the violence. That is one in every 20 inhabitants. Some are living in cramped makeshift camps in neighboring Pazani and are hoping that a new president will bring more security and stability to the country. What we expect on the 22nd of November is that the new leader, the one who wins, and may the best of them win, we want someone who can ensure our security across the entire Burkina Faso so we can go home. President Kabore, who is seeking a second five-year term, has promised a more secure Burkina Faso if re-elected. But the opposition has raised questions on his governance, under which Burkina Faso was plunged into a humanitarian crisis. The West African nation sits in the Sahel Triangle with neighboring Mali and Niger. The country has witnessed an increasing number of jihadist attacks since 2016 and now carries the tag of being one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Hundreds of soldiers and civilians have died at the hands of militant groups linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. Even as the people of Burkina Faso hope for a better tomorrow, it is unclear how many from this nation of 20 million will actually be able to elect their new government. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.